Hello, welcome to Yoga with Katie. Today we're going to be doing mat yoga. So let's come to a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes for a moment, taking a few calming breath. When you inhale through your nose, belly, and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Staying calm and relaxed here for a moment. Focusing on your own practice and your own breathing. Now we're going to slowly open up the eyes. Inhale your arms up, above the head, turn the palm up, exhale down. So deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath. Two more. Inhale your arms up, big, big stretch, reach for the sky. Exhale down. One last one. Inhale your arms up, lengthening the spine. Exhale down. Hands to the thighs, sitting up nice and tall here. Now we're going to stretch out the neck next, ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. We're going to be holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center. And now we're going to repeat on the other side. Here to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide and support the head stretch. If there's any clicking sound, any stiffness, just stay here for a little bit longer. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take it in, have the center, exit home with the right shoulder. Go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Stretch. Know your range of motion. Inhale, car back to center. Exhale, lift the chin up. Stretching the front of your neck. Inhale, center. Exhale, chin to chest. Relieve tension at the back of your neck. Inhale, center. Exhale, we're going to look at the right armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle. Looking down. Slowly, slowly, come back to center, take an inhale, exhale, we'll look at the other armpit, slightly tuck the chin in, 45 degree angle, no need to rush. Slowly, slowly, come back to center, take an inhale, and then we're going to stretch out the shoulder, arm up, and across, pull back, creating resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes will paint forward, pull back, feel the resistance here. Be mindful of anyone who has shoulder issues or any issues at all. Now we slowly release the same arm up with length and first. Place the hand behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow. Tricep stretch. Chin up, looking forward. If you can bind your hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. Don't worry if you're not able to do this. Holding it here for three. Two and one, slowly release, shake it out, repeat on the other side. Arm up and across, pull back. Creating resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. One more breath here, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Same arm up, we lengthen first. Place the hand behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. But don't worry if you're not able to do this. And we're going to be holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly release, shake it up. Hands on the shoulder. Elbows in, elbows out. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades. Expanding lung, heart, chest capacity. Improving your posture, oiling the shoulder joint. When you're in the center position, we're going to go into a full circle. Try to draw the elbow closer and closer together. Continue to oil the shoulder joints. Change direction. Go the other way. Big, big circular motion.
Slowly curve back to center. We're going to inhale down, start to lengthen the spine. Exhale and come to a side bend, bending the lower arm, top arm suppressing. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point in the side of the body. Now we're going to inhale, center to lengthen the spine. Exhale and go to the other side. Bending the lower arm, top arm suppressing knee. Slowly, slowly come back to center to lengthen. Exhale, twist, opposite hand, opposite thigh, back hand behind you. Slowly turn, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. Massaging internal organs, stretching our lower back muscles, turning the neck as well. Staying here for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center, don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release, repeat on the other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind your spine. So we're gonna keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. See if you can turn a little bit more with each exhale breath, holding it here. Be mindful not to pull a back muscle or neck tissue. Now when you slowly come back to center, don't let go of the front hand, inhale the Adama, forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release, hands on the thigh, sitting up nice and tall. We'll come to toes or turn shoulder roll. So starting our small circle, gradually do a deeper and deeper toes or turn, moving your shoulders as well. Warming up the spine. Be mindful not to spin so fast that you make yourself dizzy. And now we're going to change direction. Go the other way. Toss or turn, shoulder roll. So starting out a small circle and gradually do a deeper and deeper toss or turn. Feel free to move your shoulders, warming up the spine. And we're going to slowly come back to center to release. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, bow down, walking the fingers forward. Elbows off the mat, shoulders are relaxed. Neck and spine in one straight line. Holding it here for three. Two and one, slowly, slowly walking the hands back. And now we're going to come to a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers, wrists underneath the shoulder, knees underneath the hip, top of the feet on the mat. When you're ready, we're going to go into pet and cow. So inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly in tight, looking down into a cat. So we're going to do it a few times. Say your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement, creating spaces between water breaks. Can and cows will help you with relieve back pain. Two more times. Inhale to cow, exhale to cat. One last one, inhale to cow, exhale to cat. Slowly, slowly come back to center, swaying side to side, release tension in your wrist. We're gonna take an inhale to center, exhale to look the right shoulder. Bring the shoulder and hips together. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side, forming a C shape in your spine, squeeze. Inhale, come up the center, exhale to the right. Feel free to swing the left hip out. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side, squeeze. Slowly, slowly come up the center, swing side to side, release tension in your wrist. Coming into a bird dog, arm balance, right arm and left leg out, right thumb to the sky, back toes down, one straight line, core strong. Holding it here. Four, three, 
two, and one. If you need to release, release, otherwise return and grab hold the back foot. Lifting it up so that the thigh is parallel to the mat. Slowly, slowly release, swing side to side. And we'll repeat on the other side, left arm and right leg up, left thumb to the sky, back to the stand, core strong. Holding it here. Four, three. Two. And one, if you need to release, release, otherwise return and grab hold of that foot. Lifting it up so that the thigh is parallel to the mat. Slowly release, swing side to side. You know, thread the needle next, we inhale the right arm up. Exhale and slide through the opening, dropping the right shoulder down. Left arm can be on front of you or wrap around the waist. Now you can stay here. If you like, and extend the left leg out on your toes or off the mat. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. Both hips are level. Regular weights in the head and neck. Holding it here. Fall three. Two. And one. Slowly, slowly release. Using the left hand to push yourself up. And we will repeat on the other side. So inhale the left arm up. Exhale, we slide through the opening, dropping the left shoulder down. Right arm can be on front of you or wrapped around the waist. If you like, you can extend the right leg up on your toes or off the mat. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release, using the right hand to push yourself up. And from here, we're going to get ready to come up. So from table top, we'll meet you in down dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. We're going to be walking the dog out by alternating bending your knees, like mountain climbing, bicycling, release any tension that you may have. Very big stretch. Lengthening the spine. Stretching on the back. Opening up the hip joint. Stretching the hamstring, ankle stretch, toe stretch. Now we're going to inhale to come up on your tippy toes, stretching on the toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. One more, inhale up on toes. Exhale down. Slowly, slowly walk forward towards the hands. And now we inhale forward then. All ten toes facing the front, legs are here worse. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Head bones above ankle bones. Dangle here for a moment. Lengthening the spine, stretching on the back, opening up the hip joint. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Just be mindful that head is below hand. So if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out this. One more breath. And we're going to get ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale halfway up to flat back. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up to standing. Let your breath pressure get adjusted. After you come all the way up, we're going to go back bend your counter. So interlace the finger behind, knuckles down away from you, shine your chest up to the ceiling. Now pushing the hip forward. Shoulders on top of hips, chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Back bend to counter forward bend. Go to pinch your shoulder blade, expanding lung, heart, chest capacity, improving your posture, oiling the shoulder joint, stimulating thyroid gland, stretching the front of your neck, as well as relieve tension at the back of the neck. And slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Come into crescent moon. Inhale your arms up, palm touch, release index finger, grow tall. Exhale, we're going to bend towards the right side. Shoulders and hips are level. We're not pushing the hip forward or back. Inhale, center lengthening. Exhale, we're going to go to the other side. Stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point in the side of your, hip, of your body. Now we're going to inhale, center lengthen. Exhale to the right. Release the bottom arm. Top arm suppressing the knee. Get a little bit deeper in your side bend. Inhale, center, lengthen. Exhale, and go to the other side. Release the bottom arm, top arm, suppressing. Side body long. 
Slowly, slowly curve back up. And down by your side. Shake it out. Alternating shoulder roll. One up and one down. Change direction. Go the other way. Alternating shoulder roll. Slowly, slowly release. Take it out. Getting ready for sun salutation. So top of the mat. Make toes to touch, align the edge of your feet to the edge of the mat. So listen to your body always to avoid injuries. We're going to inhale the arms up, palm touch, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale halfway up to a flat back, hands on shin, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on mat, we're going to step back into a plank. Shifting the way forward. Beginners can drop to your knees, tuck your elbow by your side to be there. Immediately slide up to cobra or up dog. Shoulders are relaxed, eyes looking up. Exhale, you can fall back on your knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. We're staying here for five breaths. Spread all your fingers, mid our index finger facing forward. Stepping your feet, two feet apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Align your ears by your inner arms, eyes and look at your toes. Now we look between the hands. We're gonna start walk forward towards the hands to where you start. Inhale halfway up to a flat. Exhale forward bend, slightly bend the knees. Inhale your arms all the way up, palm touch, back bend, and then I'm down by your side. Into a mountain pose, continue. Inhale, your arms up, I will salute. Palm touch, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to your flat back. Exhale, hands on mat. We're going to step back into your plank, shifting the way forward. Chaturanga is all one breath. Immediately slide up to cobra or up dog. Exhale, to down dog. Lifting the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away. Shoulders are external rotation, elbows are internal rotation. Eye of the elbow facing each other. Coming into a low lunge on the right side. Inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand, left knee on the mat. So place your knee support underneath your left knee. Square the hip to the front. Arms up, holding onto your ball. Palm facing each other, pinky slightly curved in. Shoulders relaxed down from the ears, eyes looking up. Five breaths for each pose. If you need knee support, you can double up your mat or place your knee pad underneath your left leg. Now we'll place the hands together, release index finger, inhale to lengthen, exhale to sink, slide back bend, looking up. Feel the strat in the left hip flexor. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Coming into a twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Turn and look at the back. Stabilize yourself. Slowly, slowly bring the body back to center. Left hand on the mat, right arm up, reach and stretch. Look at the top thumb. Slowly, slowly release the top hand. Both hand on big toe side, heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot up to the edge of the mat, coming into a little dragon. Rocking forward, backwards, side to side to open up the right hip. Slowly pushing yourself back up, heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot back to the center of the mat, getting ready for the twist. So we're going to turn the body to the right side, left elbow on the outside of the thigh, hands in prayer, press the palm together, turn and look at the top elbow, stomach not resting on the thigh. Coming into a prayer twist, holding it here for three, 
two, and one, slowly come back to center, hands on mat. Make your way to the back of the mat for hamstring stretch. Come sit down, square the hip to the front. Inhale, the left arm up to lengthen. Exhale, when you hinge forward, grow longer. Holding on to an inner part of the foot, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking at toes. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Slowly, slowly rise up, coming into the seated twist, bring the bad leg on the outside of the straight leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee, draw it close to you. The other arm up and over, bring it right knee behind your spine. Front arm can be stop sign hand, pray hands, any variation. Point the front toes up to the ceiling and we're gonna slowly turn. Overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck as well. See if we can turn a little bit more with each exhale breath. Massaging internal organs. Stretching our lower back muscles. Turning the neck as well. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, come to twist. Bending now, there's more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and oblique the side of the body. Slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Get the flesh of out from your butt. Hands by your side. Point your toes up to the ceiling. And when you're ready, inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, we're going to hinge forward for a longer. Holding on to any part of the foot. The legs are release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, slowly come down a little bit. Let this long spine is straight. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. If you have a very tight hamstring, slightly bend the knees. So not dropping the head or rounding the back. Make sure you have good posture. We have to open up the hip joint first before we can go any further. And slowly, slowly come back up. And we're going to repeat everything on the other side. So right knee down, left leg forward, square the hip to our front. When you're ready, arms up, holding on to your ball. Palm facing each other, pinky slightly curved in, shoulders are relaxed, eyes looking up. We're not tipping the head back. So move your knee support to underneath the right knee. One more breath here. We're going to place the hands together, release index finger. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to sink. Slide back bend, looking up. Feel the stretch in the right hip flexor. One more breath here. Slowly, slowly release. Get ready for the twist. So right arm forward, left arm back. Stabilize yourself. Front knee is still 90 degree on top of the ankle. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Right hand on the mat, left arm up. Reach and stretch. Look at the top thumb. Slowly release the top hand. Go hand on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot out to the edge of the mat. We're going to come to this little dragon. Rocking forward, back with side to side to open up the left hip. Those who can come down the forearms and up on the back toes, go ahead for more intensive stretch. If this is too much for you, causing you pain and discomfort, slowly come out of it. Slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up. 
heel to toe, heel to toe, walking the left foot back to the center of the mat. Still 90 degree on top of the ankle, getting ready for the twist. So we'll turn the body to the left side, right elbow. On the other side of the thigh, hands in prayer. Press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbows. If you wish to come up on the back toes, lift the heel high, high up. Feel free to open up the arms for more resistance. Any variation you like to challenge us up. Slowly, slowly release. Make your way to the back of the mat for hamstring stretch. Come sit down, square the hip to the front. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the right arm up to lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, grow longer. Holding on to the end of the foot, the legs will release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale to prepare, exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Slowly, slowly come back up and we're going to come to see the twist. Bring the belly on the other side, straight leg, opposite arm, opposite knee, draw it close to you. The other arm over and over, bring it directly behind the spine. Front arm can be stop sign hand, pray hands, any variation. So we're going to inhale to lengthen, exhale to turn, turning the neck as well. We'll grab your exhale breath and the help of the front hand. See if we can turn a little bit more. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist, bending the elbows, long room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and oblique, the side of your body. Slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Get the fresh pad out from your butt. Hands by your side. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Coming into the start pose. Staying here for a few breaths. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Shoulders are relaxed. When you're ready, double leg forward bend. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, now we're going to forward from the hip joint, leading with the chest. Bring soon your hands will be beyond your feet, holding on to end part of feet, the legs, or release the hands on either side. So we're not dropping the head or rounding the back, we're not doing head to knee. The entire unit has to come down. So we do have to open up the hip joint first before we can go any further. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Bring the sole of your feet together. Wrap the hands around the ankles. Sitting up nice and tall. Rocking side to side. Finding your sitting bones. Fly like a butterfly, flap about 10 times, opening up the hip joint. Draw the heel close to you, grab a hold of the big toe the entire feet, inhale the lengthen, exhale. Hinging forward, leading with the chest, bring the elbows on the other side of the chin. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Bring the stomach a little bit closer. We're not going to have two feet, so inhale, prepare. Exhale to fold. Now forcing yourself to come down, so working with your breath always. Inhale, prepare, exhale, fold.
slowly, slowly rise up. And we're going to wings your wiper, bend both knees. This is hip work, hands behind you. Bring your facing the same way as your feet. And when you drop the knees from one side to the other side. So let it fall wherever it falls. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Hips can come off. Hip release, hip open it. When you're ready, we're going to drop both knees to the right side, forming a 90 90 degree. Make sure the butt stay down. You're going to feel the stretch here. Put your sub hip joint, looking at the opposite side. But don't lean back too much. Doesn't matter whether you do finger facing forward or finger facing the back. Whatever, however, your body is built. The stretch is here. Put your sub hip joint. A little bit of discomfort. We're going to be holding it here for three. Two and one, slowly, slowly come back to center. When you show it a few times, hip release, hip open up. And when you're ready, we're going to drop both knee to the other side. So, forming a 90 90 degree, make sure the butt stay down and we're going to look at the opposite side. Now, you should feel the stretch here, quarter side hip joint, a little bit of discomfort, holding it here for three. Two and one, slowly come back to center, straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. And now we're going to come to a wide leg. Open up your legs in a big V, ankles on your mats, use the length of your mats. Get the flesh apart out from your butt, sitting up nice and tall. If you can, point the toes up to the ceiling, we're stretching out in the thighs, hamstring as well. And when you're ready, we can come to a double leg, a wide leg forward bend. So inhale the arms up to lengthen. Exhale, now we hinge forward from the hip joint, leading with the chest. Bending the elbows, long room to come down. We're not bringing head to ground, and tight unit has to come down. So keep rolling the hip forward. Inhale the lengthen, exhale, keep rolling the hip forward. We're going to continue to lengthen the spine, stretching out the back, opening up the hip joints, stretching the hamstring in the thighs. And there's going to be a point that you can't go anymore and you have reach your boundaries, so don't push yourself beyond the limits. Over time, your body will become open through regular practice and you become stronger and flexible. And slowly, slowly rise up. Right finger hooking onto the right toes, bending elbows. Yeah, I'm up, reach and stretch. Lengthening, up and you lengthen. You can slowly bring the top arm over. Feel free to release the bottom arm so you have more room to fold. Keeping the body up and open. Stimulating meridian point at the pointer point in the side of your body. Stretch, don't cramp. Wrapping the top arm around your waist, reach for the opposite thigh, keeping the top shoulder up and open. We're slowly, slowly come back up. We're going to do a forward bend on this right leg, so we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine, exhale and turn the body to the right leg. Hinge forward, holding on to end by the foot, the legs are release the hands on either side. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Slowly, slowly come back up. And we're going to walk the hands over to the other side, getting ready for the gate pose, grounding the straight leg so it doesn't slip, slide, and fall. Spread the finger on this side, align the wrist, 
Eye the elbow, internal rotation, and shoulder in one straight line. And use your strong core abdominal muscle to lift the hip up. Top arm up, shoulders on top of each other. Look at the top thumb. Reach and stretch. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release and we're going to repeat everything on the other side. So we're going to come back to Y leg. If Y leg is uncomfortable for you, fold the leg that you're not using. So we'll reach for the toes, bending the elbows. More room to come down. The other arm up, reach and stretch. After you have lengthened, you can slowly bring the top arm over, forming a crescent. Don't worry about touching toes or touching anything. If you like, to release the bottom arm so you have more room to fold. Feel the length of the side of the body, keeping the body up and open, stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point in the side of the body. Now we're going to slowly, slowly come back up and we'll do a forward bend on this leg. So we fold the leg that we're not using. Oh, we should also do this. So after this, we're going to wrap the top arm around your wings, keeping the top shoulder up and open. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly come back up to release. And we're going to do forward bend on this leg. So we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale and turn the body to straight leg. Hinge forward, holding on to inhale. Flip the legs and release the hands on either side. Inhale, prepare, exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. One more breath here, slowly, slowly rise up, walk the hands over to the other side, getting ready for the gate pose. So we're going to ground the straight leg, use your strong core abdominal muscle to lift yourself up and make sure on the other hand, the wrist, eye of the elbow is internal rotation, not external. Shoulder or all in one straight line, use your strong core abdominal muscle to lift yourself up. Shoulders stack on top of each other, look at the top thumb, reach for the sky, stretch. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release, bring everything down, and we're going to bring the legs back together again. Have a sip of water if needed, and we'll do one more seated. Coming into the boat pose, get the flesh apart out from your butt, bend both knees, hands underneath the kneecap. When you're ready, lift the feet off the ground. Don't lean back too much, holding it here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly release. Another one when we're ready. Lift the feet off the ground. You can continue to hold on and you can let go, holding it here. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and slowly, slowly release. One last one to go when you're ready. Left your feet off the ground. Now you can continue to hold on, let go, or you can sit to the hands for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Come down, balance it out. And we're going to slowly transition to come lie down on our back for reclining poses. So take your time to come lie down, bend both knees, your spine will automatically release, keeping the natural curve in your lower back, arm down by your side, palm facing down, chin to chest. Taking a few calming breath, let your body get used to lying on its back. And when you're ready, we're gonna set ourselves up for the bridge pose, so bend both knees. Knees are two fists apart. Walk the heel close your fingertips. Press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, we're going to lift the hip up, forming a bridge. Exhale to lower down one vertebrae at a time. So keep going up and down. Inhale up, exhale down. Stretch. 
strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles, keeping your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain. So which pose would be a good one to do? Engage your core abdominal muscles, your quadricep and your glutes are firm. We'll lift the arms up as well. Inhale to lift the hip up. Arms up above the head. Fingernails on the floor. Exhale to lower your arms and the hip back down. So keep going. And your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way. Exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movements. Let's do another three. Two. And one. Slowly, slowly release everything down. Once you come all the way down, the windshield wiper a few times. Hip release, hip open it. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Straighten out the legs. Pass a few times. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Slowly lift the right leg up using abdominal muscles. Hands behind the right kneecap. And we're going to point and flex the right foot. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. So both legs are engaged. And we're going to draw a circle in the sky. Change direction. We're strengthening the ankle joint so it's not so easy to slip and fall and twist your ankle. Sliding the head forward up the leg, lifting the head and chest up, head to knee, hamstring stretch. The longer you feel the stretch is good to go, no need to overstretch. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly release the head down, arm down by your side. Nice and slow of control. We're going to release the right leg back down on the mat. Once you come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Now point the right toes up to the ceiling. Slowly lift the left leg up using abdominal muscles. Feel free to bend the right knee to support your spine. Hands behind the left knee cap. Ankle exercise. Point and flex. Draw a circle in the sky. So reduce wellness, increase flexibility, mobility in your ankle joints. Change direction, go the other way. Big, big circular motion. Sliding the hand through up the leg, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee, hamstring stretch. And long you feel the stretch is good to go, no need to overstretch. And we're going to slowly release the head down, arm down by your side. Nice and slow of control. We're going to release the left leg back down on the mat. Once you've come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Now press firmly on the mat. Use your core abdominal muscles to bring both legs up to the sky. Nice and slow of control. Don't just swing the leg up and down. Flex the feet. Let the blood circulate back to your heart. Helping you with circulation, energize the body. Once you have good blood circulation, it may improve your overall wellness, increase your immunity level, improve your digestion and sleep quality. So if you have time at home, you can pop your legs up the wall or a piece of furniture for about 10 to 15 minutes. Sliding the hand forward up the leg, or grab a hold of big toes, lifting the head chest up, the bone saw the mat knee comes on. One more breath in, we're going to release the head down, I'm down by your side. Nice and slow with control, we're going to release the legs back down on the mat. Once you come all the way down, bounce a few times. 
Now we releasing on the right side, wrap your arms around the right knee, draw it close to the chest or armpit, drawing the left toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, relax the grip, exhale, squeeze. We are massaging organs on the right side as well as ascending cobra. So we're going to gently pump it about 10 times. Anytime you feel bloated in the afternoon, constipated, when releasing is a good one to do. And you can also do this sitting on a chair. Right hand on right knee, using a gentle circular motion. Five times one way, five times reverse, massaging the right hip joint. Change direction. Slowly, slowly come back to center. And from here, we're going to go into spinal twist. So right foot on left thigh, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly guide the top knee as close to the foot as possible. Right arm on shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn a little bit of right side. Give your neck a skip. Feel free to bend the bottom leg or going into a cat holding the tail. Make sure the upper body, the shoulder, the neck, Shoulder blade are still on the mat. The only thing that comes off is your hip. So we're stretching, strengthening, toning lower back muscle to support your spine. And slowly, slowly coming back to center. Straighten up the legs, pass a few times, and we will repeat on the other side. So wrap your arms around the left knee, draw it close to the chest or armpit, pointing the front toes up to the ceiling. So gently pump it about 10 times. Massaging on it on the left side as well as descending cobra. Left hand on left knee using a gentle circular motion. Five times one way, five times reverse. Massaging the left hip joint. Change direction, go the other way, big, big circular motion. And from here, we're going to transition to a spinal twist. So left arm, right thigh, opposite hand, opposite thigh, slowly guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Left arm, out to the height, palm facing down. So feel free to go into cat holding the tail, opposite hand, opposite foot. Turn a look at the left side for your neck is good. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, once a few times. Bend both knees, wrap your arms around your knees, rocking side to side. Coming into a big circular motion if you like, covering a big area. Massaging lower back and sacrum, also helping you to relieve back pain. Change direction, go the other way, big, big circular motion. Slowly, slowly come back to center, lift your feet up to the sky, come into a happy baby. Then both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet, press down so that the knees are close to the armpit, rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine, entire back, moving up the hip joint. Slowly come back to center. 
And then by your side, nice and slow of control, we're gonna release the legs back down on the mat. Once you come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Now bring the soles of your feet together, let the knee frog to form a dimension. And down by your side, palm facing down. Close your eyes for a moment, taking a few calming breaths. Like gravity, that's the job to open up the hip joint. Change your chest, close your eyes. Slowing down the heartbeat, getting ready for relaxation. And when you're ready, I'll be guiding you to Shavasana. So you can have your legs apart as far as not. Let the feet fall naturally. Arms are six to eight inches away from the body, turning the palm up to face the ceiling. Have a slight curve in your fingertips. Close your eyes. Soften your face. Relax your jaws. Separate your teeth. Lower the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Scan your body and see if there's anywhere that's still holding on to tension. Let yourself go. Let it go of all your stress, worries, tension, anxiety, anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Focusing on your own breathing. When you inhale through your nose, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. So staying calm, relaxed, and still in the present moment in your own little world. And slowly wake up the body by working your fingers and your toes, rotating your ankles and your wrists, gently turning your neck left and right. Bring your legs together, point your toes, inhale your arms up and above the head, full body stretch, exhale, and down by your side. One more time, inhale your arms up above the head, point your toes, big, big stretch, with cage rising, exhale. I'm down by your side. So bend both knees. Raise your right arm. Roll over to the right side of the body. Come into your fetus position. And when you're ready, you can use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. To close the practice, bring your hands to heart center. So thank you very much for joining me, sharing the joy of yoga together, and letting me guide through the practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.